Welcome or welcome back on any help at C-squared. In this example, we have a polynomial inequality and we need to uh, find the solution set. And for that reason, we're going to take this polynomial, this quadratic in this case, and make it equals to zero first, because we want to find out when it is equals to zero. And this one is a perfect square. This one is 9x minus 1 square. Again, equals to 0. So that tells me 9x minus 1 is equals to 0, which is going to give me the solution 9x equals 1 and x equals 1 over 9. That's the only time when this uh, polynomial is equals to 0. And uh, we have two intervals here so only x equals 1 over 9 here, and the function is 0. And like I said, we have to interval left of 1 over 9 and right of 1 over 9. So if we take a value like uh, 0, which is at left of 1 over 9, and we go here, uh, we're going to end up with a positive value, right? Because 9x becomes 0, and negative 1 squared is a positive number. If I get a number larger than 1 over 9, like 1, I'm going to still end up with a positive value. This polynomial is only positive or 0, 0 at x equals 1 over 9. So if we look to this statement we have here, the original one, there is no way for these polynomials to be less than 0. So in fact, we have no solution here, the empty set. And you can see that also on the graph, this graph doesn't go under the x-axis, so it's always positive, never less than zero. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C squared for more help. Thank you.